What's going on guys? Welcome to my tutorial in Adobe Edge. Um, this is the new software from Adobe. Uh, this is the preview version where um, they're just letting people try it out. And I heard Adobe had a lot of good feedback on this so far. And I'll provide the link in the description so you guys can download it. It's in the Adobe Labs and let's get started. This is um, basically a software that is an alternative to Adobe Flash. I'm not going to show you anything so uh, detailed but I'll just give you a feel for what the software offers and then once the full version is released we'll do some really in-depth uh, tutorials. With all that being said, let's get started. We're going to select uh, File New and it's a blank canvas over here. I'm going to select my shape over here just to draw something and if you notice on the bottom of the screen we have um, a timeline and if you notice in the background, that's my neighbor's dog barking. <laughs> that's terrific. <laughs> but over here, I'm going to select the color of blue. And I can change the background if I want the stage that you call it over here. And so let me take my shape and I'll just come over here. And I have a shape drawn and it's gray. So we can move it over here. And. Let me change the color of that to, let's see, here it is orange color, that's cool. And then, just going to extend the size over here. So if you notice on the bottom of the screen we have keyframes over here, and this is pretty helpful for everyone who is familiar with the other programs from Adobe where we use keyframes and a timeline. So you'll have some comfort with all of that, and if I move the marker over here, across the timeline and we change a property let's change the color to blue you'll notice that over here the timeline or the piece of the timeline turns green and also adds a keyframe for the fill color and I'll move it back here and you see that so these are things that were in flash where they were progressing with the animation and automatically in certain keyframes the only difference here is that when we export a project like this and we can also do more things. We can move the box over here and now the box moves. But what I was uh, getting to uh, was that the animation part to this is pretty simple. Um, and this is what they were trying to do with Flash. But in this program, our goal is not to uh, publish a Flash file, obviously. It's to get an HTML file, uh, HTML5 file going. So what we can do is file save as and I'll just leave like this, click yes. I'm gonna hit control enter to publish. It's a little bit slow, but I'm guessing because it's a preview that they made it a little bit slower. And eventually we have ourselves a file um, that is HTML5 and you have a browser window here that allows you to uh, to view it and it's not flash I could right click over here and you see it's not a flash file but you will be able to get um, an animation going it is a little bit slow but again it's a preview version so I'm not going to complain about this at all because this is really from a developers point of view where you're looking at it in Adobe Labs where um, you can get various software packages in Adobe Labs and if I want to add some text we can add some text over here thank you for watching See you in the next tutorial. And we can modify the size here. It's not bad. It's not a bad. Um, it's not a bad software package. I think this is going to be something very interesting um, when it's complete and they have a full version working. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Cheers. Thank you.